everyone, Tiny so Chibis here, and we are back with Genshin Impact. I did this one, which is a Sumeru anime, so it's like, whatever. And I was gonna do this off screen, but I'm like, it's a dog. A lot of people like dogs. And so I was like, ah, fuck it, I'll do it on screen. Mildly annoyed right now, because my earrings are missing, and I have no fucking idea where they're at. Which is concerning because they're my earrings and I remember them being in the house and I remember put taking them off or well I took them off at work because like I can't have earrings but it's fucking stupid is that like this one girl like she sometimes has her earrings and I have like the little tiny hoop earrings, right? But she's got the big old hoops, you know. Like the size of my palm. Big. But then again, she only wears them like at night. So I'm thinking maybe because like... I don't know. Anyway. Look at the doggo. It's a doggo! But that's beside the point. I just want my earrings. Hello, doggo. Damn it. I actually did it. I was surprised that I actually did it. Shit. Okay. This is what happens when you start gloating. Stop gloating. And myself on something again don't know what I cut myself on cut myself I did Ugh. nothing I did like so I think I had a better time on my main account but I could not fucking block his moves when he does the like like move you know like the one where he jumps in and the electricity happens i couldn't do that one on my fucking main account so or maybe i didn't i don't know like so i know but i know my earrings are either somewhere in my room or somewhere in the living room because i they're not in my ear, so obviously. Um, do I have to? Okay, so I gotta do this last one. And then we start with the um the last event part oh like there was supposed to be free Pima gems like 300 and like I per usual like I didn't get them like 
I wasn't able to get them for this account, but I did think I did get them on my main account because like I had woken up and like I usually I open up YouTube because like in the morning while I'm getting ready, I usually listen to like you know like the um like the sto those stories like um. Like, I listen to, like, Edge of Saw It, um, yeah. Gossip City, what else is it? Um, Crazy People, oh, what are these other ones? Molly yeah. Robo, um, the fuck are the other ones? I used to listen to... Um, yeah. voice he hears, but yeah. like a lot of his things are like, you know, he's got the old, like, he stopped like kind of doing videos, like actual videos, and a lot of it was like repeats and like other shenanigans. Um, it was just not anything worth watching anymore, so. I like how I can't fucking trying to watch my health. Okay, so I am not getting on the timing. It's a little easier with the fucking dog. Is there actually a dodge mechanic in this game? So like, oh, where was I? I'm trying to think of all the ones I I watch. Um, Attack on Mika. Though I'll be honest, I always watch the Attack on Mika at Chansara at last. So, but base. I mean, I really don't get because of how short time I have. I normally don't get to watch those like in the morning unless it's my day off. Because, like, I usually um, am able to watch, like, maybe two or three episodes before I have to leave. Depending on how, um... Your skills are superb. I've been thoroughly bested. Which reminds me. I don't think I actually watched Dark Fluff today. Or listened to more say. Oh, well. Ladies after and this. gentlemen, after an exhilarating battle, the champion for the Warrior Spirit Sword Fighting Exhibition has been decided. Give it up for the Traveler! The way she sounds says it's so weird. I don't know. I Tomorrow, think we will conduct the final exhibition match. The Traveler and Miss Kamisato versus the almighty shogun's chosen envoy, an autonomous humanoid known as the Magu Kengo. We'll see you then! <sighs> that was a most thrilling match, Traveler. Congratulations, Traveler. You've certainly earned your title as the champion. Hyman had no idea that tomorrow's opponent would be the Magu Kengo. That name sounds similar to that troublesome one we encountered on Yashiori Island. Oh, Paimon doesn't think it'll be an easy fight. Don't worry, Paimon. The Shogun's chosen envoy may be strong, but tomorrow's match doesn't prohibit the use of visions. I'll make a formidable team. As long as we can track its moves, an opportunity to strike back will present itself. Oh, hearing your confidence sure makes Paimon feel better. I cannot guarantee that we will win, but we must try our best. If just to give the crowd a show, they will not forget. Mm. 
I can tell you two are already raring to go, but it'd be best to conserve your energy and get some rest tonight. We'll also be able to see Ayaka's new outfit when we wake up tomorrow. Ayaka in a Fontaine dress. Oh, Paimon can't wait! Ah, uh, yes. Oh, well... <laughs> Sounds like there's no way around it, Miss Ayaka. Oh, if I wasn't busy tomorrow, I would have loved to come see as well. Ah, I suppose it's settled then. I'll wait for you at the Kamisato Estate tomorrow morning. Do I gotta change? Alright, so... Need some more primo gems. You know, at the time. Five in the morning. What fucking shenanigans is that bullshittery? Who the fuck is up at five in the morning? I go to sleep! At those times. Fucking it's waking up. time to head over to the Kamisato estate and pick up Ayaka. Oh, Paimon's been waiting to finally see Ayaka in her exhibition outfit. But I guess, I guess that makes sense. I mean, I guess we're going to go pick her up. So it would make sense. To get there from there would take a while, so. I guess then that makes more sense. Come on, let's get moving. Sorry, I'm responding to a text place message. After all. I'm still mad. Like, I keep thinking about my earrings, so I'm like, ah, my earrings. I want my earrings. Problem is, I don't know where the fuck they are. Ah, you're finally here. Ugh, it's Hirotatsu. The Traveler already beat you a few days ago and won the championship. What else do you have to say? Don't worry, I'm not here to cause trouble. I just wanted to apologize. Traveler, I lost to you fair and square a few days ago. Your swordsmanship is excellent. Each strike was precise, but not aggressive, which speaks to your character. I ask your forgiveness for misjudging you and offending you with my words and actions. The two of you must be here to pick up Miss Kamisato. She's in the dressing room right now and should be out soon. Traveler, before the young lady comes out, I have a bit of a presumptuous request that I hope you can consider. Although the young lady has never mentioned today's exhibition match to us retainers, she has spared a few hours every evening to practice her swordsmanship, despite how busy she is. The young lady has always been diligent and conscientious, 
Although it's just an exhibition match, and it won't matter if she loses, I trust that she will do her best to win. As a retainer, I do believe in her, of course, but uh, I still hope you can support the young lady in the arena and ensure her safety. Oh. Traveler, I leave the young lady in your hands. Oh, that must that was be Yayaka! weird. Kind of sounded like cunt, cunt, little country right there. I don't know. Yeah, there's the outfit. so silent but yeah, is there we something have wrong with the outfit not at all Ayaka you look amazing Oops. you're radiating beauty wait hold up why can't we have different outfits as the traveler I would wear <laughs> I would use the traveler more if I could have different outfits I would which reminds me Because a uh, little heads up for y'all, I kind of, I don't know why, but I always kind of like dress up games for some reason or another. I don't know why. I like the outfit, so. Just look at it. It even has the crest of the Kami Sato clan embroidered on it. Yes. Onadera had someone from the family make it over the last few days. I heard it was based on suggestions that the spectators had written on the ballots. The outfit is well tailored and offers more freedom of movement than I had expected. I don't care when you see the look on everyone's faces when they see Ayaka. Thank you for the compliments, Paimon. Traveler? Now that we're ready, let's head to the arena. My lady, the traveler. I wish you all the best in the exhibition match. Mm. Sorry, I'm like thinking and I'm hating things and I'm just like, because I'm still pissed they're making me come in on a Sunday. Like, why the fuck do I have to come in on my day off because, because they fucking can't fucking hire enough people or they keep chasing away the people to fuck that can fucking work there. Not my goddamn fault. And then I'm fucking forced to go. Which is bullshit. Because I don't want to go. So it's like, fuck them. But no. I, they forced me to fucking sign a piece of paper that says I'm going to show up. Have you seen my earrings? I say to my pillow. Like I didn't know you were such a slacker. So here's the thing. Either my earrings are somewhere lost. Cause like there's usually two places I would have put them at. Oh, I guess I gotta talk to this chica. Everyone is looking forward to this exhibition match. Good luck, traveler. <coughs> so cold. Maybe I should have turned on the goddamn. Oh, okay, cool. Forward. This is the Outlander Affairs Agency. Hey, look! Miss Kamisato and the Traveler have arrived! Although I've seen illustrations of this outfit before, seeing Miss Kamisato wear it truly brings some unique flair. Oh, it was worth lining up super early to get front row seats. I'm really looking forward to today's match. Wow. Ayaka became the center of attention the moment she appeared. 
Ladies and gentlemen, your attention, please. The Warrior Spirit Exhibition match is about to begin. Please enter the arena in an orderly fashion and take your seats. Miss Kamisato, Traveler, please come with me. Are you ready, Traveler? Um... Good. Let's give it our best. I look forward to fighting beside you. I was thinking... No, because, like... I only remember seeing it on two places, but I'm not sure if I actually saw them in those places, or if that was actually yesterday. Because either they were on the desk in the living room, they were on my table in my room, or maybe I subconsciously stuck it in my bra like I usually fucking do. They have a habit of sticking everything in my bra if it's small enough. Just so that I can hold it. Because like, it's, it's a little pocket. Just a little pocket. It's a pocket. <laughs> then it also helps that if I don't have... Like... Uh... What you call it? What an overwhelming presence! Certainly worthy of being the Almighty Shogun's chosen envoy. But with you by my side, we will emerge victorious. Let's go! Whirling snow! Oh. Anyway, no, I was just remembering a video I just watched earlier of a sh um, how they had used, um, they had made a whole team of three cryos and, what the fuck is the bastard, of a one animal character. Take this! And they use those the four characters to fucking um, embrace the ice. Lightning flash, thunderclap. I was like, what the heck just happened? Anyway, so they use those four characters to travel like the water pretty quickly. And they actually had it, like, fucking timed. Where they could use all the characters. That all their cooldowns will go through. And everything. And. Mind you. Three of them are five stars. And one of them was a four star. And on my main account, I have. Three of those five. No, I have, like. Three of those characters. Two of the five stars. And the reason why I'm bringing this up. Because one of the characters obviously was a Yaka. The one character I really don't have. Nor do I care about. But I was like man. I wouldn't mind having a Yaka. Or getting a Yaka. Just so I can fucking travel the water. For like this bullshittery. That was an extraordinary match. <sighs> I don't know much about swordsmanship, but even I was caught up in the tense atmosphere of the arena. My heart's still pounding even now. Your opponent's moves kept surprising Paimon, but it seems like the two of you were prepared for that. Traveler, Miss Kamisato, congratulations on winning the exhibition match. Hey, it's Sora! You came to watch the competition too? I was ordered by the Almighty Shogun to observe this competition. You two displayed remarkable swordsmanship and cooperation. Not only did you present the beauty of the sword arts to the audience, I was also able to learn quite a bit myself. I'm flattered. All of you have been busy with various preparations for the competition. Today marks a perfect ending to this warrior spirit event. Your efforts have been recognized by the Almighty Shogun. I must return to the Tenshukaku and report on what happened at the exhibition match to the Almighty Shogun. Everyone, please excuse me.
Like it hurts, By the but way, there's no pocket. Does everyone have plans now? Pad. If not, why don't we go to Uyu restaurant for a victory meal? Great idea! We've been so focused on the competition lately that it's been a while since we've had a good meal. Let's go! Must. Go. <sighs> uh, oh, it's nothing. The effects of winning are only now starting to sink in. Kujo Sara said that she learned a lot from the fight, and so did I. Although the audience members might not have noticed, there were many moments where I would have been in trouble if it weren't for you by my side, drawing away the opponent's attacks. Without you, it would have been impossible for me to win on my own. It's just as I expected. My swordsmanship is still far from your level. Really? Hearing you say that makes me want to spar with you all of a sudden. To tell you the truth, I've been hoping for an opportunity to spar with you ever since we first met. That wish was half fulfilled today at the exhibition match. I don't care about Ayaka. I really don't. I know, I know everybody was like fucking... Like, I have a friend who was fucking simping for Ayaka before she even came out. But I've never cared. You know, she just... I don't know. She's just boring. Though... I say that. And yet, I fucking simp pretty hard for her brother. So... I mean, I have a bad habit. I keep, I keep calling I hate them Ayato because I simp so hard for Ayato. And then, I have a, like, but then again, I have multiple body pillows for Genshin. But I, but the auto is, like, right above my head right now. Like, woo! Ha <laughs> ha! And I'm curly, sleep foam pillow. Like, sure. But, until then, make sure you take good care of your sword. If I ever manage to steal it one day... Your life will also be in my hands. <laughs> I've always wanted to say something like that. Did it sound strange? No, because, like, body pillow arrangements is... Uh, Kaya is, like, on the bottom. Like, I'm basically, like, actually laying on Kaya. Mostly. Ayato's, like, above my head. Kind of somewhat cradling. Zhongli is, like on my side but I do sometimes lay on him as well but given his position it's like a weird position it's like basically like sometimes I'm on, I lay on him sometimes I don't but he's still more <laughs> puffier but then again like I think his the pillow is bigger or something I don't know no yeah cuz it fits perfectly and child on the other hand what are you doing in here, my dear? How did you even get in here? <laughs> hey, what's the hold up here? What are you talking about? Oh, <laughs> we were I just talking about having a match to determine like, like, which of us is the superior lower. sword fighter. Wow, you are so when it comes to swordsmanship. But, I see aren't you friends with the Traveler? Why do you need a match? It's precisely because we're friends that we should spar often and learn from each other. Oh! Guess that kind of makes sense. Traveler, keep all I just said a secret? Nothing. Let's get going. We asked him for her brother. Oh. And the last one, because uh, I'm going to probably end this one here because I don't really think... I don't remember anything else happening. That was basically the end of this fucking one. 
because the last one is this one, but I have to do it without Ayaka, so I just basically bought myself. Um, so yeah, we'll probably end this here. I'll probably... Do the last one for the warrior spirit. Come on, let's get moving. And then when I We're probably not frozen in place after all. Either look for my earrings again or Um I'm going like, I mean, cause my earrings has gotta be somewhere and I don't know fucking where. Which worries me. So yeah, I'll probably go look for it after this. Um. <laughs> Ellie, get the hell off my bed. <laughs> Young lady. <laughs> yeah, I'll just start it so you can kind of see it, but I'm gonna actually do actually fight the whole thing off battle so this is basically how it starts and uh, you obviously know I want to get the freaking from free mill gems at the minimum <sighs> okay so we're gonna end this here so for now, Tiny's the Chippies is signing out.